I'm back and this time with a video entitled let's build a studio yeah on this video I want some input into my studio from all my subscribers also I've got some Partercast news coming up and my good friend Peter and some questions all coming up Yeah, I'm glad to be back, folks, and it was lovely to do a video the other day with my really good buddy from New Zealand, Peter, who's all fit and well now, which is great news. Um, had a good time, and he said he'll do another video before he goes back to New Zealand. He wanted to say thank you to everybody who's put such lovely comments on that video, and he has promised he'll come back and do another one for us. So if you've got questions for him, uh, other than telling him the weather's awful over there, <laughs> Um, please put them in the comments down below and he'll respond. Um, we had a great time going down to GAC on Sunday and also making a bit of a jam session uh, video for you on Sunday afternoon. Really good fun. So yeah, great stuff. The second thing, I've got something to show you. No, not the fact that I picked up my coffee. This. Hmm. This is a nut for the parter caster and it's made by Irvana. It's a CTS nut, a, which stands for Compensated Tuning System. And I don't know if the camera will focus on this. Hopefully it will, especially if I get out of the way. What that does is it compensates for the open tuning on the nut. So that's going to replace this current nut and to sit under there just like so. And also, fingers crossed, hopefully it's going to be nice and low and reduce that awful, awful high nut. So that is coming up in the very next Partercaster video, which should be well, hopefully this week or next. Um, and we're going to put this on, see, see how it sounds. I'm sure it's going to be great. Uh, and then finally today, what I really would like is some input from you, if you'd be kind enough. Um, we moved house back in October last year, 2015. Uh, 2015, I get pulled up for saying 2015. 2015 we moved in, and within two or three weeks, we had a terrible storm and our back wall came down. Here's a little bit of footage of the damage done. I showed you on the video the other day, but as you can see, the wall has seriously uh, fallen in and it's broken on both sides. So we've been to and fro with the insurance company ever since. Obviously we had insurance for it and they finally, just on the 1st of July, agreed uh, a settlement figure for us to get a builder in and start work. So. I booked a build to start in the next couple of weeks. However, I felt that while he was in as they're like hen's teeth and uh, it's very difficult to get hold of them over here, they're all very busy. So I thought while we've got the opportunity, I'll take that chance to get him to give me a quote for building the studio that I'm looking to build. For ages and ages, I've wanted to build a really good sized studio. Uh, not just for music, although I would like to rehearse there with the band and also do some recording, but also a studio that's suitable to make these YouTube videos for you guys. Uh, so it wants to be something that's fairly multi-purpose. I, I can't build it just as a sound studio uh, because uh, it's got to suit many different purposes. And I just wondered what your opinion and input was. I've done a little bit of research in the UK here over planning laws, and this is what I've found. There is such a thing called permitted development in the UK, and what that allows us to do is, provided that we're not in an area of conservation or um, a designated area, you are able to build a single story structure under what's called permitted development, provided, and this is where the proviso comes in, uh, with my particular case where I'm building within two meters of a boundary wall, 
it has to be a maximum height of 2.5 meters high. However, it can be up to three and a half thousand liters in volume. Uh, and so I'm going to use that entire corner of my new garden. I'm going to move the summer house and I'm going to have a space potentially to create something between three and a half to four meters wide and eight meters long, obviously by two and a half meters high. I haven't got any um, preconceptions of it. I think given the fact that I need it to be fairly soundproofed and I need to keep equipment out there, it wants to be very waterproof, soundproof, and also have fairly decent dryness and climate control. Uh, although obviously that can be built in by air conditioning. Um, so I just want to have your ideas. I think while the builder's here, he's happy to build in brick or in timber. Although my personal preference, given the age of our house being built, the earliest part built in the 1850s, uh, I would like to think that we could go for brick possibly, because I think that would look rather nice brick and slate roof. But I'll have your input on that. I'm sure you've got your ideas. Um, and I just wanted to involve you because you've been very kind in sticking with me while I've had another protracted break. Uh, thanks very much to Matt East. Uh, and I do appreciate your loyalty. I've, I've grown in subscriptions from about 17,500 to 18,000 plus in the time since I made a video. Uh, so I, I know you're standing by me and people are subscribing. So I want you to be involved. I want this to be a fun project and it's going to be entitled Let's Build a Studio and I'll take you through every single stage. So uh, we've got a week before the builder starts doing the uh, the wall uh, and then probably a, a week or so after that before he needs to start sorting out foundations and footings for the for the additional work I want to give him. So yeah, give us your ideas. It's got to be a sound studio and a video studio and a multi-purpose room that will mean that I'll be out of my little study uh, and making these videos for you in there. So we get the guitars on the wall, that kind of thing. Really love to have your, if you've any of you have done projects like this or know of anybody that's done any projects like this, or you've got good ideas for designs for outbuildings, uh, particularly brick built outbuildings with um, probably a couple of triple glazed windows or doors in um, just so that we can keep plenty of light in getting in and prevent heat from being lost. Uh, then let me know. Give me your comments and, and send me links to photos and uh, drawings and other ideas that you may have out there in interweb land. OK, I really appreciate it, folks. And again, thanks again for standing by me and for for not unsubscribing when I do go AWOL for for a period. I'm much happier about the the um, Harley Benton guitar now that I've given it to Pete. Uh, he was the only one that I could guarantee was a, a, a legitimate and genuine entry into the competition. So I was really pleased to give that to him. And um, I hope you were as well. I hope you all thought that was a the best thing to do with it. I am denied about giving it to a school uh, anonymously um, and I may do that with another guitar. So um, I, I, but I decided against it in this instance because Pete was involved in the competition and he's a great guy. He really struggled and never gave in uh, during the cancer treatment. And I think that there's nobody more deserving than him of that guitar. So uh, I'm really happy with that. And it's meant that I feel a lot happier and a lot better about getting back to doing videos for you more frequently now. So I shall be back, hopefully more regularly. I'll never say never because I don't want to tempt fate. Until the next one, folks, you take care of yourselves and uh, cheers.